Okay, you guys, so I am at the car dealership at Mercedes, and I think I just bought another car. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm feeling voids that, um, I guess I need filled. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some of Trisha Paytas' behaviors because they might be unhealthy and you might be struggling with the same thing too. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I jump into the topic at hand, uh, for all you patrons out there, this morning I was having a rough, weird, irritable morning. So I, I took a, I posted a little video about it. And in that video, I talk about medications, I talk about meditation and all sorts of stuff. So make sure you go check that out. All right, so I've had a lot of people recently, which is really interesting. Recently, I've had a lot of people ask me about Trisha Paytas and her shopping and if that's problematic or if it's unhealthy and I wanted to address it. So before I jump into that topic, I wanna to throw a disclaimer for all of you who don't know me and you haven't been around my channel, and for all of you who are probably going to ignore this disclaimer, this video isn't for Trisha Paytas, it isn't malicious or anything like that. If Trisha does see it, hopefully she gets some help or hopefully she gets some insight, that's cool. But this video is for you because like I always say, a lot of you watching YouTube can relate to the people you are watching. So you might be doing some of these things and they might be causing issues in your life. So my video isn't necessarily for Trisha, it is for you. So yeah, Trisha Paytas, uh, she shops a lot. She likes to do mukbang videos. And we wanna talk about developing unhealthy behaviors and how the brain actually works. So the first thing that we really need to realize is that our brain is in two constant states, all right? Our brain is extremely complex, super complex. So what I like to do, I like to simplify it when I explain it to people. It's in two states primarily, attraction and aversion. Attraction is give me more, that makes me feel good. And aversion is get that away from me, I don't like the way that feels, all right? So what happens is, is that when we get in these states of attraction and aversion, those can be triggers, all right? And there's something called the habit loop. So when we experience a trigger, whether it's give me something good or get that bad thing away from me, we have a behavior, okay? So in the context of this video, when we're talking about shopping or eating, sometimes what we do is when we get some kind of emotion that we don't like, what we'll do is we'll turn to something that we do like or gets our mind off of it, which could be shopping or eating. So what happens is, is that when we experience this trigger and then we link that up with a behavior and we get some kind of reward from it, it lays down a memory in our brain, okay? The brain is trying to be efficient. So the brain is like, okay, cool. So when you feel bad, you go buy something and you feel good, let's do that again. So the next time you feel bad, it's easier to do that thing because your brain's trying to be more efficient. Same thing could be with eating. You're, you're feeling angry, you're feeling upset, you're feeling sad, you're feeling lonely, you eat a pint of ice cream, right? Your brain is wiring itself to say, oh, okay, this is the solution for that. That's one of the reasons why my channel is called The Rewired Soul because what happens to a lot of us with our mental health is that we wire our brain in a way that is affecting us negatively, but if we can learn how to change that and have it help us improve our mental health, like the sky's the limit. So yeah, um, I don't know uh, if you got the memo, but I am not an avid Trisha Paytas watcher. Uh, I've done some videos about her relationship with um, Jason Nash and just talking about relationships in general and all of that, but I don't binge watch Trisha or anything. I know about her, I get a lot of messages and obviously she's getting recommended and popping up, but anyways, there was a while back when she bought a Lamborghini and and that was interesting to me. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, rich YouTubers buying stuff like Jeffree Star, he's a baller, he's buying all sorts of things. But I don't really watch Trisha Paytas, but I, I watch David Dobrik. And here's a quick clip that kind of made me go, hmm. Are you happier since you bought a Lamborghini? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel kind of sad actually, because I don't really like it. <laughs> and this is the only clip I could find because this was from a few months ago, but there's another clip where she kind of dives more into that, right? She dives more into how she bought this thing and it's not making her 
her happy and it might even making her be making her more sad. But in another clip that I couldn't find, she talks about how she was having a really bad day and she went out and bought this thing and she felt good for a little bit and then that went away, right? So those of you who don't know me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, but that's what we do, right? We don't like certain feelings, so we go get high or we get drunk to push those things away. And it works for a little bit, but then since we didn't address the problem, they're still there. Right? So what we're doing is a lot of us, we're looking for some form of like instant gratification, okay? We'd rather get a, a bunch of little forms of instant gratification rather than addressing our problems and see what's really going on. But as I was doing a little bit of research for this video, I came across the clip that I showed you in the very beginning of this video where she bought a Mercedes, but she says in that clip that she's trying to fill some type of void. Okay, you guys, so I am at the car dealership at Mercedes and I think I just bought another car. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm feeling voids that um I guess I need filled. And she says she doesn't know what that is, right? And I mentioned this in a video I made about Trisha and Jason about a week or two ago. Like I know Trisha has been in and out of therapy, but for all of you out there like if you still haven't figured out what that void is, what that thing that you're trying to fill is, like keep doing therapy. Meditation is also a great way to quiet your mind and figure this out. Like what is this thing that you're trying to get, right? Because when we get quiet, like we realize like, oh my God, like I keep trying to buy these things, but I'm still miserable. Like I talk from personal experience. I always thought my happiness was based on stuff, right? The nice car, the nice house, you know, the vacations and all these other things, right? but I was still miserable. I was the most miserable I ever was when I was making the most money I've ever made in my life. So then, then let's talk about the mukbangs, mukbangs. I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't know. But anyways, like, so Trisha, one of the, the first videos that got me kind of interested in covering some of her behaviors on my channel to see if you could relate to them was the first time, I think it was the first time, her and Jason broke up and she made this video crying and saying he called me fat and all of this and they broke up because of it and there was all this back and forth and that was a, a huge, huge, huge thing. And Trisha, Trisha, like myself, is somebody who struggles with her weight and some of you might struggle with your weight as well. But what's, what the issue is, is that a lot of us are emotional eaters, okay? And one of the things is, is like, I'm all about body positivity. I am all about body positivity. I've made some videos about it. And something I've talked about in the past is that I've had to realize that until I'm happy, like truly happy at whatever weight I am, I know that I can't be happy just by losing weight, okay? So I've been on a weight loss journey for the last year. I'm down about 50 pounds. I just got my butt back into the gym because I go back and forth with that, but like, if Trisha or you are truly happy with your weight, do your thing, baby, do your thing, all right? There is no judgment here. But when I see a video like Trisha made about, oh, he called me fat, like that, that shows me that there are issues, right? There are issues, okay? But the thing is, is that with her back and forth, with, with being healthy, with promoting like some supplements or suckers and stuff on Instagram, like, it, it seems like, you know, she's developed these unhealthy behaviors and I can definitely relate. Something that I've noticed about myself probably within the last, probably within the last year since I've been dieting and became vegetarian and exercising and all that, I am not somebody who eats when I'm sad. I'm not somebody who eats when I'm lonely. I'm somebody who eats when I get angry. When I get angry, when I get frustrated, like for some reason my brain is like, get something sweet, go get ice cream, go get donuts, go get chocolate, go get this, right? And that is really fascinating to me. So that's one of the motivations for the book I wrote, just wrote, Rewire Your Anger. Like, it's important for me to address those things because if not, I, I take my anger and I turn it into something unhealthy. And if you've been paying attention to this video, I am wiring my brain for that. So my brain is thinking that every time you get angry, the solution is to go eat something unhealthy, which, is unhealthy, all right? So 
The solutions for these things are something that I already mentioned. I recommend meditation, okay? Meditation is a great way to get quiet and it helps you turn towards your feelings. I always think of it like that, right? So when we think about aversion, we're running away from our feelings, meditation helps you turn towards them and face them and embrace them. Like I just had an amazing meditation just this morning, right? When I was feeling irritable. So like meditation is a great help. Therapy is a great help. And one of the reasons this is, is because it can help you get to the root of your problems. And if I'm going in order, you should try therapy before um, meditation if you're dealing with some like really deep rooted stuff, such as trauma. Like I don't wanna ever scare anybody out of meditating, but it's better to have somebody there with you to walk you through this process, all right? So a meditation teacher is even good. Like some of you, like if you live in um, decent sized cities, there are different centers where you can go, meditation classes and all that. But therapy is a great place because you might have some stuff that you haven't addressed your entire life and now it's time to do that to break these unhealthy healthy habits. The next solution I'm going to give you is just find a support group, okay? That's why we have the, the Rewired Soldier Facebook group. That's why we have our, our uh, Discord server. Come in there. So the next time you're feeling some type of way, come in there and talk to us. Vent it out. Have people, you know, be there for you and explain what they did to get to the solution rather than staying in the problem, all right? So like, just try to find some solutions. So again, this video isn't necessarily for Trisha. It's for you. If you can relate to um, shopping and spending as a way to avoid your emotions, or if you turn to food as a way to deal with your emotions, this video is for you, all right? So quit staying in the problem and get in the solution, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Like down in the comments below, let me know, do you or did you have any type of unhealthy behaviors? Like, or what unhealthy behaviors do you have right now that you turn to when you're feeling some type of way, all right? Let's have a discussion and provide some support for one another down in the comments. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And don't forget, there was a brand new Patreon exclusive video up over on the Patreon. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.